This video will show you one method to safely jack up your Land Rover. Step 1. Place the vehicle on a hard, level surface. Step 2. Apply the handbrake or parking brake. Step 3. Select first gear. Step 4. Select low range and engage diff lock. Step 5. Confirm the parking brake and diff lock lights are illuminated. You may need to start the vehicle and move it forward to trigger the light on the switch gear. Remove the seat base and then the panel underneath that and lift the carpet out of the way. This is the location of the wheel nut wrench, the wheel chock and jack, although it may be on the bulkhead behind the driver's seat in a van or hardtop or in a Land Rover 90. You'll also need this bottle jack lever and extension piece which can be found under the seats on a 110 and on the bulkhead in a 90 and also you'll need your locking wheel nut key if you have alloy wheels fitted. Step 8. Chock the wheel. Step 9. Place the jack under the axle, raise it up a little to take the weight off of the wheel. Step 10. Crack the wheel nuts off. These may be very seized and require quite a lot of uh, force. You might have to stand on the wrench, but do not fully unwind them. We're just undoing them, which prevents the vehicle, when it's in the air, fully supported by the bottle jack or an axle stand, from becoming unbalanced and falling off. Step 11, place the locking wheel nut key on the locking nut and undo that just as with the normal wheel bolts. Step 12, now lift the jack to the point where the wheel is off the ground and you can lift the wheel off when you need to do, there's enough clearance for that. Step 13, wind off all but one nut and then hold the wheel before undoing that last nut so that the wheel will not fall off. You can optionally place the wheel under the chassis as a backup just in case of stand or jack failure. Always use good quality, safety approved, rated axle stands. These are rated for 3 tons per pair which is overkill for a Defender 110. Lift the stand on an approved jacking point found in the owner's manual before lowering the bottle jack and the landy's weight onto the stand. If you have one of the older style Land Rover jacks, wind the jacking tube to the height of your jacking holes in the cross member or dumb iron. Slide this in till the lug is flush like so with the surface of the cross member and it can go in no further. Ensure the jack is vertical and perpendicular to the ground, then using the ratchet handle wind the landy up. This will take a while, the jack first has to take up the suspension travel as it's lifting the body and the chassis first. To refit wheels, position the wheel onto the five wheel studs and always work in this five star pattern. It's actually called a diametrically opposed pattern so you go to the opposite nut, gradually tightening each one. And this means that the wheel will be centered, it'll be positioned and there's no strain and there's nowhere where cracks will form in the center hub because it's unevenly tightened. Just as we did when we removed the wheel, tighten up the nuts so that they're hand tight. Then we can raise the jack, lift out the stand and lower the vehicle onto its wheels before torquing up the nuts. You should check this after a few days or 50 miles to ensure that the torque is correct and you can find the torque rating for the wheel nuts in your Land Rover owner's manual. If you enjoyed this episode then head on over to our website funrover.com for plenty more where that came from or follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram we are at funrover and subscribe to us on YouTube because we've got a lot of exciting videos coming up soon showing you how to do jobs that let's face it every Land Rover Defender owner needs to do. I'm not going to go into any more information than that and a lot of exciting videos to come this year. So head on over to those aforementioned websites and we'll see you in our next video. And remember, where we're going, we don't need roads.